Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have kind of like this classic Christmas Day soft glam for you guys. I think it came out really, really pretty. Um, it's a little bit all matte on the eyes and then kind of like a glossy sheer red lip. I did more of like a matte base. And yeah, I thought a soft glam look was fun and I usually don't do all matte eye look. So this was really interesting for me and I really like how it looks. Looks very classic, pretty, sultry, sexy, all of the things. But yeah, and welcome back to 12 Days of Beauty also. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. If you don't know, I'm doing 12 different videos every single day. The 12 days leading up to Christmas. So lots of holiday looks, lots of favorites videos, things like that. And yeah, if you'd like to see how I achieve this look, then just keep on watching. Alright, I'm going to be starting with the eyes today. I wanted to do kind of just like a soft glam, kind of all matte look. So we'll see where we go with it. But I'm going to start with my MAC Painterly Paint Mott as usual. And... Just apply. Hopefully you guys can't hear my boyfriend. He's on like a little conference call in the living room. But hopefully you guys can't hear him. I'll try to edit it out if you can. <laughs> Alright, I think with this look I'm going to use my Anastasia Sultry palette. So I'm going to go ahead and just take the color fresh from that, which is just the beige, light beige color, and I'm just going to set everything. Since I'm going in with all mattes, I want to make sure there's no like stickiness from the primer. So everything blends really effortlessly and with an all matte look I feel like the blend is super important. When you have shimmers I feel like you can kind of just like fake it till you make it a little bit. But I want to make sure everything's really really blended. So let's see. Okay, I'm going to start off with the shade Birch right here which is kind of like a mustardy brown. Um, it has just, it's kind of... Yeah, I would say like a mustardy orangey brown, and I'm just going to be applying that in my crease just like as a transition. I'm going to kind of build this up, but I'm going to start pretty light to start. I'm just using a big fluffy brush. This is one of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes, I believe. I'm just starting off with like windshield wiper motions, and then I'm kind of doing like little circles with my brush just to make sure everything gets really, really blended. I'm kind of going to take that color and stamp it onto the outer corner just to build up some depth right there because we are, I think I'm going to go with like a smoky kind of like cat eye all using shadow. I don't think I'm going to do like liquid liner but I kind of want that shape to be established with these browns that I'm going to be using. Alright, I think I need another color so... Alright, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette just because I want a couple more like transition brown shades so I'm going to go in with this one as well and I'm going to take let's see I'm going to mix Raw Sienna and Real Gar this is kind of like a more like neutral transition brown and then Real Gar is like that bright orange this is more of like a fluffy pencil brush and I'm going to be taking both of those shades and a little bit of that Cypress Umber shade as well just to mix in there and I'm going to start on the outer corner just so we don't get too much and connect it onto the lash line as well. Kind of just working in this outer third section. I take that fluffy brush I started with and just blend out any harsh edges. Alright, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that same real dark shade from Modern Ren Renaissance, that bright orange, and I'm just gonna kinda blend that into the crease by itself just to get more of like a pop of a warm, like more warmth in there. Cause I feel like the warmth is really gonna make this look like really sultry and everything. So Alright, to tie in the inner corner of the eye, I'm going to be taking the shade Fresh, which is again that really light beige shade from the Sultry palette. And I'm just going to be applying that on the inner part of my lid, kind of where I didn't blend any of the other shadows. Mm -hmm. 
And we can, of course, just take the kind of brush with that real dark color on, and I'm just going to try to blend that over just so that light shade isn't too harsh. And you can kind of do that as many times as you want to get the effect that you like. All right, next I'm taking this little bitty angled brush. This is from Essence. It was like $2. It's a really thin angled brush. I'm going to take the black and the sultry shade uh, palette and really pack that on my brush. I'm going to mix a little bit of dystopian in it just to kind of dilute it a little bit, make it a little bit more warm with the brown. And I'm just going to be applying a smoky wing, so just drawing on a wing, and then I'll kind of be blending it out. I'm going to take that same kind of fluffy pencil brush. I'm just going to go right over that liner that we did and really smoke it out. Again, don't worry if it gets too messy underneath because we will clean that up with concealer and everything. All right, first I'm going to go in with my Rare Beauty Primer. As usual, you guys know the girl with that. This is just such a good primer. I think I'm going to go a little bit more... Oh, I had some sparkle. I think I'm going to do a little bit more like matte with my foundation choice. Not like super matte, obviously, because I have dry skin and I can't do that. But taking my Becca under eye corrector, I'm going to do concealer first today, I think. And apply that right in the inner corner and then on the, like, underneath the lower lash line. For concealer, I'm going to go in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And apply that under the eyes and really use that to sharpen up our little smoky wing we got going on. I'm going to do it on the center of the nose and on my forehead. For foundation, I'm going to take the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I'm just going to take it on my foundation brush and do it like this and then apply it. I really like to apply this in kind of like thin layers because I fi find that you don't have to put a lot to get really good coverage from this one. So this is how I just apply it. This is foundation is a little dry for me, so I am going to go ahead and spray my Milk Drip and Set Refresh Spray. I'll apply this and then apply powder on top of it once it dries. And just because I want this to be like pretty high coverage, I'm going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix powder and I'm going to apply this. This is like a more full coverage foundation powder and I'm just going to lightly press it on top of my skin just to kind of mattify a little bit more for this specific look I'm going with and to add a little bit more coverage. This is a really beautiful... Um, powder foundation. Just be aware it does have talc in it, I believe, so it does dip quite a bit of flash back in flash photography. For contour, I'm going to take my Filmstar Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury and just apply this kind of heavily. I want quite a bit of contour with this look. This is just such a good shade for me. It's like so cool, but it still adds a little bit of warmth so I don't look like a ghost or anything. For blush, I'm going to use my MAC Warm Soul. This is just a really pretty like light nude blush that I like to use when I'm not really sure what else to put on as blush. I don't want blush to be the main attraction, so I'll put something just really light and pretty like this on. I'm going to focus it kind of more towards the back of my cheeks because I want this to look really sculpted. And then for highlight, I'm going to take that a color from the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. And this is more of like a subtle highlight and I'm just going to pop it on the tops of my cheekbones. And down the center of my nose and between my eyebrows because I've been really liking to do that on the cupid's bow. And I'm also going to take this and apply it on my inner corner of my eye look. Just 
just for a little bit of glow even though it's a matte look. Alright, to finish up the lower lash line, I'm going to take that Real Dar shade from the Modern Renaissance and I'm just going to really heavily apply this on the lower lash line. I'm going to kind of like buff it out so it's kind of really smoky and sultry. So I'm just first applying it and then I'll take a big fluffy brush and just really go to town with blending. I'm going to apply my mascara and my eyebrows and then I'll be right back. Alright, so that is with it with mascara and eyebrows. Um, I just applied my usual eyebrow, the Essence Make Me Brow and the NYX uh, Micro Pencil. And then I just went ahead and applied my Milk Mascara. I was intending on doing lashes, but I think since I want this to be more of a soft glam, I'm going to just leave that lashes uh, mascara because I think it looks really pretty. If you wanted to step this up a notch, you could definitely put like a darker um, liner in the waterline and apply some big lashes, and I think that would be stunning. Um, for lips, I think either a nude lip would look really good or a red lip, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to maybe, I think I'm going to try the red and see how that goes. Alright, this is MAC Ladybug. It's kind of more of like a sheer red, and I'm going to see how this looks. Alright, and that is the finished look. I kind of do like the lip with it. It's more of like a sheer glossy red and I think that's really pretty for like more of a subtle like still glam but more of like a softer not like super intense look. Um, I really like the all matte. I never really do all matte looks anymore on my eyes so this one's really fun. Really easy, really smoky, no like real technique there but I think it looks really good and I think this would be perfect for like a holiday party or just like a date night or something like that or even like Christmas day. So yeah, I think that's all from me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys are enjoying 12 Days of Beauty. I have really been enjoying doing these um, holiday looks and everything like that for you guys. So yeah, I guess that's all and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!